I'm not sure if it works on 2014, but basically 2014 and up, they're kind of they're kind of the same. So what I did was, here's what I did. I took off all of them uh, 10 millimeter bolts. It's got two in here. Uh, what else do I have? I've got another two in here, uh, along with um, steering wheel cooler. Yeah, I think this is a steering wheel uh cooler uh i took this this one off too that's a 10 mil another 10 mil down here and then i had to slide it down this way actually before i did that i took off um that little panel so this this thing holds the uh grill along with the headlight so basically uh it's it's being held by three 10 millimeters bolts right down here i've got only one hand i'm recording with the second one so as you can see three bolts um i took the old one out there's the old one and then i had to slide the new one in it was an easy um process and then the low would go down here right down here that's a low i've used um, a 13 millimeter but mine is half either one if you got a half wrench or a 13 millimeter would work uh on this one here i don't want you to do the same mistake that i did earlier um this month uh i've used um impact wrench one of them things with high power and actually it took off the this whole thing broke because of the impact wrench so my i don't even see them anymore because i broke them which i had to replace them with a brand new one so i would tighten these by hand kind of like what i'm doing right now take it nice and easy you don't want to break um the bolts that you have right now because if you do the only thing uh, the only thing i mean it's not fixable you could glue them together using um loctite cement epoxy or you could buy a brand new one the loctite cement epoxy would be a temporary fix for like six months or so and then you, you would have to do the same process again after six months which is basically a temporary fix in my case i wanted to I wanted it to be permanent I don't want to fix the same issue next year or in about six months um, so basically I bought a brand new condenser so I'll keep on doing what I'm whatever I'm doing tying these by hand uh, the 10 millimeter that's gonna be using impact wrench um, and then after that I'll have to a vacuum using the vacuum the same process that I did in the vacuum video um, I recorded that video about a week ago or two weeks ago give or take uh, you could find it in my channel and then after finishing up with the vacuum vacuuming uh, the condenser for about um, 13 minutes give or take um, actually so here's what I would do I would put the vacuum on for five minutes and then check for leaks and I mean turn it off uh, check for leaks like wait for about 10 minutes or so check for leaks and then after that if you don't have any leaks um, I would turn the vacuum back on for another 25 to 30 minutes uh, after uh, you finish the, the vacuum process you would recharge I'll record another video uh, on how to recharge the system as for this look at it's getting tight right now so I'm I'm trying to tighten it like super well, I mean I'm trying to be careful I don't want to break that thing I don't want to use Loctite either so basically just gonna make sure it's nice and snug uh, break it I want to do another turn and basically break it so 
hopefully this is it all right so all right my friends i'll come back with another video um i mean the remaining of this video showing you um how to install this one back uh actually it's i'm just gonna put it back just like that put my um 10 mil three 10 mil bolts back on uh put my bolts right down here back on too and uh that would be a wrap for this video it's actually very easy on this car i've done it in a ford uh taurus and it was it was really tough i had to take off um i had to take out the radiator uh, the fans all the good stuff but in this car it was simple i mean this car is already wrecked as you can see it doesn't even have the bumper i'm still working on it i'm painting it i'm trying to customize it make it look like the way i want it uh, it comes i mean the the um balance they call it the balance the upper side of the bu uh, bumper is uh uh chrome and i don't like uh, chrome even though i i painted those chrome but i want it to be blacked out with red and then i'll put i'll, I'll start putting decals on it uh later on it's got eyelashes on the um on the tire uh halo uh, headlights i mean and then these are i mean as you can see they used to be black for some reason the paint is fainting or fading fading away i think it's because i didn't use a primer so i had to re i'm gonna have to repaint this guy or maybe keep it that way it depends so as of now let me finish the job hopefully uh actually one more thing i didn't show you the air intake uh i bought this guy for i think about 70 75 or 80 i can't remember it's been a while off of amazon and um that was way before the pandemic i've had this car for about six months now um i work full time and it, this is like a side uh hobby that i do on the side on the weekends so i've been trying to finish it for a while and if you if you guys live in the northern uh, atmosphere like in michigan uh chicago illinois you would understand what it feels like to have a, a six months winter so that's gonna be a wrap for now i'll come back with another video in a minute after installing the rest of the front end i'll come back to you thank you okay so this is basically the remaining of the video i put this guy back not completely installed i still gotta do this guy it's always nice to have a buzzer or an impact tool makes your life a lot easier and it gives you that little sound it's very satisfying if you think it's satisfying please comment below and this guy right here Come on, focus and i've been i'm sorry i had to cut and then come back and redo the video it's because i've been recording the, those videos all on my own all by myself and as you can see i'm i'm fairly new to the whole youtube process
was um, in the middle of this section, so I I just wanted to disconnect it at that time. Um, where's my little baby? My little satisfying baby. Alrighty. Alright. It's nice and snug. It's not gonna go anywhere. Alright, so I had to put the grill support or grill bracket, whatever you call it, back on. And basically you put this guy back on too. Same clips in. Um That's a low and that's a high. They're all nice and snug. Um, make sure you put the condenser on top of the little uh, rubber thingies so it won't go anywhere. Uh, I think we're done with this thing. You've got three bolts here. So I said um, two bolts earlier, they're actually three. The third one would be for the uh, steering wheel system, um, radiator or something like that, a cooler, this guy, this little guy. So that's about it, my friends. It's time to get the vacuum going. All right, we're in business. Looks like we're in a good shape. All right, so right now for me this is a wrap for this video i'll do the vacuum it's basically the same process that that i did in the prior video uh the one that i recorded two weeks ago if you want to watch it it's in my channel and i'll link it in my description too um thanks for watching i appreciate the hope the help and support please like subscribe and share to your friends and family members uh, if you have any questions for me, please DM me. And if you think this video is interesting and you want something similar to it or more videos about how to change a condenser, radiator, radi radiator excuse me, a front end or anything uh, in the suspension component of a vehicle, please let me know. I've done so many projects. I've been doing them for about uh, five years now, uh, since 2015. And... Um, Trust me, I love it. I didn't go to school to learn about cars. I actually, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna go deep, too personal. Um, I'm a master degree student. I'll be a professor for, very soon. Uh, I'm not gonna teach anything about vehicles. I'll be teaching more towards math. Uh, I love math. Um, um, basically, this is what I do on the side. Uh, it's like a, ho a hobby, I should say. Um, I'll show you a picture of it once it's done. Uh, I'll have a picture of it before and after. And let's get working on the vehicle. Get it done as soon as possible so I can get you some um, more uh, materials and um, content for the channel. Please like share and support your boy thanks so much for watching have a good one stay safe and healthy adios now bye